Two minutes to the mumble man's house. And then we're going for two spins again today, I'm sure. We're going to start out just uh, west of the cave, by that pier down there. And then we're going to come back this way and do a recon. Stand by. Well, i tell you one thing. Mumble's man said he likes the way it looks. I do too. Big cut, big slough, runs all the way down to the pier. I don't know how far it goes beyond the pier. So fishermen. So far, pickings are slow. Stand by, it sounds like a penny. 12.38, I know it's a penny. Well, let's make sure. I see a lot of rusty iron and water coming off of you. See it? I think it's a blank. Look at that rust. Good gracious. I might have found it though, on that scoop. Rust City. Oh, I see it. Like hell I do. Stand by. You can see all the big blobs of steel and crap. But what it was was a piece of aluminum, burnt aluminum mixed up inside there. Almost man. Man, some nice dogs right there. I ain't kidding you. That might be the best of it. The direction is wrong, but that's life. Looks like the end off an old pocket knife. I shouldn't say it looks like it is. See something? Something interesting amongst these rocks. See if it's got anything inside of it. Can't find any marks inside of it. Okay. Within a three foot radius right here, I've dug two brand new quarters and a brand new two euro. All within the same three foot circle. Someone asked in the video a day or so ago, what about the beach that all the sand was pumped onto this winter? Remember those truck loads and truck loads of sand? Well, this is it. This was probably eight or 10 foot tall from just behind me to all the way to that pipe you see down there. That was filled in, all these rocks were gone. As you can see, sand, sand is gone. Nothing but brick bricks again from that old hotel. It's back to almost normal. Sand replenishment dissolved. Stand by. Location number two. Let's see what location number two is like. Making out here, Mumbles man. Not much of nothing. I got a dime, a penny, a sinker, and some a big, some big pieces of aluminum. Well, I, I did get a. a I got some. Uh, <laughs> looks like one of the anchor bolt things. Oh or something, yeah. Uh, and I got a. I got some kind of bling. Uh, I don't know where it's at. A bead bracelet thing. Oh, with oh yeah. On it. I think we're gonna have to beat feet out of here. Roundup. I guess the best of it is going to be the Coke bottle, the piece of pocket knife, the euro and the two quarters. Now this, I think, is a silver bracelet. I can't find any marks in it any place. It rings up 1242, 1243 on the CTX, which is silver. 
Uh, we're going to call it silver just because of what number it comes up under. And I think this at one time was a platinum earring. Just because it looks like it should be. Uh oh. Stand by. Yeah, it was a leader. She's on her way home. Shade after seven. What time is it anyway, for real? 7.24. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Piece of lead. Egg sinker. Encrusted with some iron. I guess they're rivets from Levi's or something like that. That's about it. Tomorrow, I don't know. I got a, some things to do to get ready for the gun show this weekend. I've been putting off. Because I could do them Wednesday or Thursday, but tide's getting late now in the afternoons. It, it's almost dark, so I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll check back with you in a little while. Good luck to everybody. I'll see you. Mumbles man, he had the mumbles today like me. Beaver went to Nala. We ain't heard a peep from Beaver, so maybe he's got the mumbles. But he went he went where we were yesterday in a different spot, and he found a bunch of nice old silver coins. I'll add those to the back end so you can see them. Okay, that's it. Stand by.